Okay, so I said she was gonna update, so update. Don't cover the screen. Okay, so basically, I've been getting chains, uh, power, power chains. Yeah, power chains on the top row of my teeth and not the bottom row. Um, that's because they're trying to close the gap that's up there. And then, um, uh, not this visit, but the next visit, I should be getting my braces off, which is pretty exciting because I, I really don't like braces. You were so excited to get them at first. I really was. And then, um, the, the reason I don't like braces is because I can't have, like, foods I usually would eat without having to cut it into pieces. Or stop and use a toothpick or one of those little, like, pop finger looking things. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, that gap is not closed yet. I can feel it with my tongue. I, you don't, you don't want it to be too tight or you can't floss it. That too. Well, also when I went to the dentist last time and had my cleaning my braces on, the lady accidentally took my, the, the floss up too far. She said, oh crap, does that hurt? no but yeah that's basically it my power chains match my glasses so tell them why you're suspended from school ha 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 okay so i was getting ready to punch this boy in the face for talking crap about me then tell them why though you don't just randomly go around hitting people for what they say that's not how you were raised and he wouldn't stop and it was because um this he was trying to fight me the day before because this guy was, my boy was trying to fight her yeah boy and then this guy because this guy uh touched me and i went to the office about it and he went and told everybody about it and his friend got offended and went to fight me and so i was going to go and punch him and then my friend jonathan told me to calm down and then i jokingly said make me and then this girl i don't even know came up to me and she was like Hey, if you do this, if you keep do, oh my god, if you do that again, if you talk to him like that again, I'm gonna hurt you. That's my brother, and I said, go ahead, because if it happens again, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna do it again because I'm tired of taking people's crap. And then she goes, well, no one cares about you, blah 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 blah. And then I hand I tried handing my friend Jonathan my stuff like my glasses and my phone. And he wouldn't take it, so I handed it to some guy. I don't even freaking know. I can't believe I did that, but. You and do then, things when you're mad. And then, like, we started trash talking each other. I called her a goldfish, because she really looks like a goldfish. Um, and she, after I called her that, she grabbed me by my hair, and I started swinging. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> And then after we were broken up, she kicked me and I fell over. But her sister lied and said I threw the first punch, which I think it's funny because I have multiple witnesses who will say that I was. Well, that the did one. say. Yeah, that it did she say. Didn't throw the first yeah, punch. her her sister was the only one that said that, which made it, makes it even more obvious that I wasn't the one who threw the first punch. And then after the fight, I was getting ready to fight more people because they were recording me and laughing. So, yeah, and then after the fight, I got, like, tons of messages asking me if I'm okay and asking me what happened. Shocked that you got in a fight. Yeah, and there, some of them were like, I can't believe you got in a fight. You're so sweet. You usually just ignore people. And I, yeah, and then, like, my knuckle, I was bleeding because I busted her mouth. And, um, yeah, and then, um, also... That there's a it's healing now but yeah and then apparently that girl told my friend that she wants around too and then my friend Jonathan he why he uh, was telling everything I was saying about the girl who fought me and so yeah He's not really a friend. and Considering that this boy was telling me that he's been trying to get rid of this girl forever. That she's basically just obsessed with him. And he's 
supposed to be good friends with Caitlin, yet he knows that this girl wants to keep fighting her because of him. It was all because of him, because of their friendship and her obsession with him is how that all started. I, I've known this kid because they are they have one of the same um, classes together, so I've yeah. met him before. And he used to have a crush on me, and he told me not long ago that he still does. I don't know if he still does. He might, but... That wouldn't really help with the situation. But she's in, um, is it called ACL? It's an alternative center yeah. for learning. Yeah. I, I didn't get that, thankfully. No, I think that, I think she's gone for the rest of the school year. Yeah, she's got like 30 days suspension. I got 10 days because it was my first fight. And everybody was so surprised that I fought. They're like, why would you do that? It's not even that big of a deal. <laughs> but yeah, after the fight, everybody was freaking out. Like, after, like, right after, everybody came up to me and was asking me if I'm okay. None of them checked on the other girl. They just checked on me. The only person I checked on the other girl was the principal. And she told the principal she thought her mouth was bleeding. And then there was blood on the guy's, uh, on the guy that broke us up. And, yeah... And then I got escorted onto the bus. <laughs> we both got escorted. Um, Should have go to the principal's office first. Yeah, the the teacher that escorted me was Mr. Cunningham. Oh. Yeah, he escorted me onto the bus. He made he wouldn't let go of me until I got onto the bus. He's such a sweetie. I'm guessing it's so I don't try to go after her again, which I wasn't gonna do. Or to keep even her or her from attacking you. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to hit her again for freaking kicking me and having, like, like she fought me and it wasn't a fair fight because she had me by my hair. So, yeah. Up, bitches. Yeah, I, I was mad that it wasn't really a good fight. <laughs> Usually some girls are happy that they don't get, like, if they, like, don't get a fair fight because they don't really get hit but I just wanted a fair fight because it would have been more fun now I sound like a horrible mother oh you don't care I will say this for those of you all that's been following me on Facebook and following the stories you all know that we've been having it out like crazy and I look like shit like crazy with the school over harassment bullying of other students and one of the teachers over her and I told, like, I was making phone calls that same day saying, look, she's been taking this crap since we moved into this school district. There's been hundreds of complaints logged by her. Nothing's been done. She's been groped twice by the same boy, once in eighth grade at a school function, and then this year in class, and nothing was done because it wasn't on camera. And I told him, I said, I'm afraid that this child who normally would not engage into a physical altercation is eventually going to snap because everybody has a breaking point. And that was what it was with her. Even in the statements that they had to read me and her dad in her disciplinary hearing, uh, the principal uh, said that she told them specifically that she just couldn't take it anymore. So, point is, teach your kids not to be little assholes and bullying all the time because... People like her are normally nice and will take it and take it and take it. And then they're going to step up and think that somebody's going to back down either size difference or because they're used to seeing people walk all over them. And then they're going to be caught with a surprise. I'm not, you know, I'm not out here boasting that, oh, my daughter got in a fight. She's suspended. No, I'm proud of her for standing up for herself. And finally, I mean, because this has been going on since we've been in this district. This school is horrible. Um, it was like that when I went there. Anyway, if you guys are new here, subscribe, like, share. Love y'all.